Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, real quickly a uh, few words about a product that I recently got and that I'm very impressed with and have been making uh, good use of. Uh, I've been building the Revell Germany 132nd uh, Piper Super Cub. And overall, it's a, it's a pretty good kit. I mean, it's certainly much better than older Revell kits. Um, you know, both from a quality of tooling and a detail standpoint. But somehow, they just <laughs> they just failed on the cockpit. Uh, well, the instrument panel specifically. Um, it's a joke. Uh, it's like something out of a plastic G.I. Joe toy. And not only are the decals almost devoid of any detail, but they're not even the right size. So... I've been struggling with uh, trying to figure out what to do about that, and I, I was even at the point where I was thinking about doing a CAD model of the instrument panel and having it uh, built on a 3D printer from Shapeways, uh, which wouldn't have been too bad, I suppose. But then, one day, I was over on large-scale planes, and I saw a link for a company called Airscale, and they're in the UK, and I went and checked them out, and they have the neatest thing. They make uh, photo etch brass uh, frets of instrument panel bezels for both uh, American and German aircraft from World War II in both 132nd and 148th scale. So I thought, hey, Piper Cub is a World War II era aircraft. Um, I'll bet I can make that work. And so I ordered up a set of both the, uh, the bezels and the decals. And uh, I'm going to show you some photographs of them as well, but I'll also try and show you here on camera. We'll see how this works. See, check that out. That's all of the, uh, the bezels on the fret. And here is the decal card. There it goes. So there's a couple of things about this that I really like. One is that they give you a numbered reference card and it tells you uh, what each one is. You know, a US style altimeter, US turn and bank, US compass, and so on for all of them. So uh, you can do what I did and download a photograph from the internet and figure out which instruments are which create a numbering scheme that tells you, okay, for the altimeter, I need um, the photo etch part 1A. And then you can do the same thing with the decals, which are also numbered, and you can match them up. And so that makes designing your panel layout uh, really a lot easier than I expected it to be. The only thing um, that uh, well, let me tell you how I went ahead and put it together, and I'm also going to, I'll show you some photographs of, of the finished instrument panel, but I'm also going to attempt to show it to you right here. You can see it there. Maybe it'll focus in. Um, there it goes. Anyway, what I did is I, um, I... I assembled all of the bezels to the bare plastic panel, which I had sanded down. Um, and then I uh, shot some uh, Vallejo black on it. And then I put the decals on. Um, did a, I also added some uh, leftover bits of, of uh, photo etch from uh, 132nd Edward Mustang fret. And then uh, shot a little bit of uh, satin varnish on it to you know integrate everything and then uh, put some uh, uh, clear gloss varnish in each dial face to get the uh, appearance of glass. The only thing that I found in doing it that way was that the decals were a little bit uh, large. And so they overlapped the edges of some of the bezels and it was a little tough to get them to center up and stay centered when they were you know, sort of floating in the decal water. And I, I, I ended up having to redo one of them, but you know, overall, with a few tiny little touch-ups, um, I'm I'm overall pretty pleased with the result. I, I think it I think it looks good. I think maybe next time what I might try is uh, painting the bezels and the instrument panel first, 
putting the decals down and then putting the bezels on top of them so that I definitely don't have any issues with that and then uh, you know going on from there so I don't know you know it's always a live and learn process when you're trying out something new but uh, overall I feel like this was a really uh, a really smart uh, decision to uh, buy these it took about 10 days for them to get over here from the UK um, Airscale filled my order almost immediately um, I think after the conversion to British pounds it was about 25 bucks and obviously I've got lots and lots of uh, dial faces and bezels to uh, use on future kits so anyway I'm sure this is something some of you guys can use and hopefully uh, this information will help you out all right take care much love